far left. Hey, what's up team? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what you're used to seeing. It's gonna be a little bit more serious, but we're gonna have a lot of knowledge and information for you, especially for my people still in the military. That's because today we're filming at US Army Sniper School. Eyes up. So this video isn't to like show all the fucking cool shooting fucking behind the scenes stuff that all you guys want to see. This is like I said for the people who are still serving, it's going to help you get from A to B, meaning where you're at from your unit and how to actually get here to the schoolhouse. The small little things you guys need to know and how simple it is to get to sniper school as long as you're willing to put in the work. The reality is, if you guys want to actually see everything that goes on here, put in a packet, come to the fucking course. It's that simple. Like I said, this is a completely different video. Um, bear with me. I don't have all the best equipment. I'm doing this all by myself. I flew down here on my own money uh, in order to help out some of the people down here at Sniper School in order to promote this school and help soldiers who have messaged me and said, hey, how do I get here? How do I do this? Uh, as time goes on, if I'm ever to get better equipment for all this stuff, we'll come down, we'll do more stuff like this and spread more knowledge. So that you guys know that this is all, you know, factual stuff. It's gonna be coming from the mouths of the instructors here at Sniper School. I will not be talking about anything. I'm basically gonna be doing this intro and the outro and you may see a few clips inside of my vlog that's it and as usual if you guys like this type of content go ahead and click that like button if you guys don't like it go ahead and dislike the video but let me know down below in the comments how i can fix or improve for your guys entertainment if you guys want to stick around and see more content go ahead and click that subscribe button we post two to three times a week make sure you guys show love to these instructors they actually have been working like around the clock i've only had 24 hours to be here they've been working for a couple days up sleep schedules and uh, yeah they've been sending it and we're nice enough to answer questions to help you guys out what is sniper school what is sniper school? in a nutshell so everybody likes to think it's just a shooting school but there's a lot more that goes into it we are trying to build critical thinkers that can shoot and can actually perform what we call skill level one task uh, extremely well and proficient so we take a specialized team, a small group, and they need to be able to sustain and support themselves away from the main body. Shooting is part of it, but on the larger scale, they're enablers. They help shape the battlefield and they make elements uh, or their command team successful. The skills, we start off with a progression, so everything will eventually tie into each other. We start with our target detection and range estimation. Uh, range estimation back in the day used to be like the end all be all event and he thought that was a defining moment for a sniper. But now what we've learned is target detection is the stepping stone and it leads into your advanced observation which ties into your patterns of life. We call it uh, spotting the anomalies. By me being able to have my target detection spot anomalies, I can take that into a, a bigger picture such as a crowded city or a patrol. Obviously we have our, our big ones, range estimation, target detection. Uh, stalking. And with that, we build upon it to a realistic scenario where they get into a position, they're observing an objective, and now instead of just trying to take a shot, we have other assets that we can control, such as calling in direct fires. Eyes up! The course is continuously evolving to meet the challenges and threats of the modern day battlefield and modern warfare. Uh, especially in regards to large-scale combat operations. So we have a two-week train-up that was, is published online. Uh, the hardest thing that, that seems to be troublesome for students is the 25-meter grouping with M4 iron sights. They have to shoot within a four-centimeter circle, um, and that right there is the biggest discriminator for all of our students. Our biggest cuts come from that right there. Uh, we've been successful with the curriculum that we have now in the ground-up. We started from the basics. We've taken AIT graduates gave them the quick two week train up and they have graduated. In some instances too, those uh, new soldiers showed up to their unit and they were the only qualified snipers. Benefits of completing the sniper school course. The benefits of completing the sniper school course. So one, you become part of a small specialized community. And there's a lot of support out here um, and everybody just loves, they, they think there's this real like sex appeal or this real like mystery behind it. Really they just are proficient in everyday tasks that most infantry soldiers should be uh, performing daily. They just take it to the next level and operating on their own. So benefit of it is it opens an avenue because you are seen as a person with, who can handle higher responsibilities at a lower level. I mean, benefits of being a sniper, you're getting to do uh, a different job and a highly specialized task and skill set within the infantry or uh, Cap Scout world. 
operating in smaller elements with less support at farther distances from like friendly lines more responsibility placed on you and then just a completely different mission set than anything else experienced in the infantry. All right, who can come to sniper school? Enlisted soldiers with the MOS of 19 Delta, 11 Bravo, or 18 series can attend the schoolhouse. They have to have a minimum GT score of 100, as well as pass a physical evaluation, a psychiatric evaluation, and be recommended by their battalion commander. What paperwork is needed to go to sniper school? For the paperwork checklist, as far as being able to attend the course for your school packet, you can check www.benning.army.mil under the sniper school webpage, as well as sniper school mill suite. What if I fail sniper school, can I come back? You can absolutely come back. There's no limit on how many times you can attempt to come through this course. If I'm a stud, but my command isn't helping me, how do I get to sniper school? If your chain of command is hesitant or isn't willing to send you down here to attend the course, um, the best way to go about it is try to find a way to articulate and convey to that command team the importance of this course and how you can be an enabler and an asset to the battalion mission. By someone trying to hold back someone from potentially being a sniper, it's probably hurting the organization more than anything. So by doctrine, it states in there that the sniper section is the most tactically and technically proficient soldiers in the entire battalion. So the quality of personnel that should attend that have proven themselves that they can actually benefit the organization on a battalion level and not just a company or a platoon level. Can females come to sniper school? Yes, females can attend the course. After you become a sniper, what happens? So once students leave uh, the schoolhouse, most guys that show up, most of the population is already uh, in a sniper section somewhere throughout force comm. Um, so when they go back, they're schoolhouse qualified uh, with the ASI Bravo 4, and then they go back to either being a shooter or a spotter within their sniper section or their sniper team. Something that I wish I knew before coming here was definitely how to do target detection better. Back in my unit, we'd practice it like once every two or three months, and they didn't really go into detail about, you know, going through hard lines. Definitely taking your time, not too much time. All right, what I wish I knew before I came to sniper school uh, really was everything. I'm on a line unit, I'm not even in a section. Pretty much my platoon sergeant said, hey, what kind of schools you guys want to go to? And I just said, hey, well, I can I'll go to sniper school. Sounds like pretty cool you know i can go you know go do this maybe i can uh go be with my snipers go to the sniper uh, section after that but i had no clue how to drop a packet nothing i figured it all myself um and i figured i'd get to the school and they'd teach me everything i could just shoot normally whatever but as soon as i got here i kind of realized that wasn't the case i totally was not expecting this i was expecting there to be kind of a baby steps to it and it's kind of you get here and you just you go balls to the wall work on like target detection with your unit if you're not in the section try to talk to your battalion section and work with them, work TD, uh, range estimation, uh, go to a range with them, learn how to shoot, different techniques that they do. Just get, at least get your foot in door a little bit, do a little bit of training, whatever you can uh, to get to school so you're not coming in here blindly and getting that shoved down your throat. One thing that I think um, I underestimated was actually spotting. Um, a lot of people have time behind the gun and know how to shoot. I didn't have any experience really spotting or calling wind and uh, you can really uh, fuck over your battle buddy if you don't know how to spot for them. Practice fundamentals. I've been in sniper section for over two years now, so I know how to shoot, I know how to call wind, uh, but things like as simple as target detection, range of submission, still kicking my ass. So definitely things like that. Uh, I would I would have practiced more beforehand. One, those are your first graded events, but two, like as a sniper, those are things you need to know to be able to engage targets. What I wish I knew about sniper school before coming here, how stressful it would actually be. I knew coming here is going to be a stressful school, but like I didn't know how stressful it was going to be. It's not always the best conditions, but that's the conditions we're going to operate in. Since I joined the army, I pretty much came right through the sniper section right off the bat. Spent like two weeks in a line company. And so I spent two years learning basic sniper things. So now I'm getting that chance to prove myself and earn my Bravo 4. One thing I want to do is come here, earn it, take it back to my unit and teach the younger guys and newer guys in the section how to become snipers and do it properly. All right, so at this point, you guys literally have no excuse as to why you cannot attend sniper school, okay? You literally were just given all the answers from the instructors. So if you don't show up, it's because you didn't want it enough. As usual, if you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video, but let me know down below in the comments how I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. If you wanna see more type of content like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We post two to three times a week. All right, that's it. Have a great day.